I saw blind people from another perspective. I think watching the movie, it kind of like gives you a perspective somehow, or at least gives you a glimpse, pun intended, <laughs> of uh, uh, what it's like to be a blind person, you know, living in society or not actually being very active in society because you're very limited and how a lot of these people struggle to be normal people, you know, to, to mix with the normal people and not let their um, disability prevent them from enjoying a very normal life. But as we can see in this movie, uh, there's so many hindrances. I thought that it's very courageous of him. And being blind, it's, it's not easy because I have a friend who's blind and he struggled a lot in life. Where they were like pouring water to see how far they could fill it to the brim and like all the blind people like, you know, over spilling and stuff. And then finally like as they sort of understand how is it like to, you know, react quickly to it, to be decisive and not just keep waiting and waiting until it really does overflow. Yeah. There's a lot of good scenes in the movie, imagine, but uh, one of those very light and funny moments was that scene when um, Serrano kind of like suspected that Ian had real eyes or something like that. So Ian had him hold his eyes. And as a matter of fact, these are fake eyeballs and he took them one at a time and put it on his hand. As a person who is I mean, really like, not being blind for I just feel like, however it is that in life, right, sometimes the most beautiful things are things that we can't see. Yeah. Like, I mean, it can be just a harbor or anything, but to actually imagine it in your own way, it's, everything is beautiful because everything is what of what you imagine it to be. The heart and soul of this movie is one person giving a lot of people hope, you know, by means of imagination. That's my takeaway message.